everyone uh, we're gonna get started here with our masks um, today um, <clears throat> I kind of have this traced already onto my canvas <clears throat> it's an 11 by 14 <clears throat> excuse me but I wanted to show you something from last week and um, I had worked on this afterwards because there was just something I didn't like about it and it happened to be here uh, there is a shading here, but the lines needed to be blended a little bit better. It just didn't look right to me, and it probably didn't look right to you either, but um, I just wanted to show you what I did here, uh, and it kind of really helped to make this painting pop a bit better, too. It looks more natural and more, you know, um, it just, the shadowing just looks better to me. And so, uh, if you do, you know, just kind of blend that in. And uh, I just got some of this uh, darker green here and just kind of pulled it out and pulled some of the um, raw sienna into it. So, uh, if you have started your painting and, you know, you, you didn't like that, I mean, everything should blend. And that's the purpose. I mean, you want it to look natural and real. So that was my only um, comment from last week. So without further ado, we are going to begin our painting. All right, so, <clears throat> so uh, let's see here now. What um, I'm going to kind of do here, I want to get the background in. I always like to get the background in first. It just kind of helps with the rest of it. And um, at least for me, I can see better that way. Uh, I don't know how you paint or if you like your background completed or whatever first, but I do kind of like to get my background going. So uh, for the background, I am going to use a violet. And this is the Master's Touch Violet. Uh, it's an acrylic paint. And um, I'm gonna add some blue to it also. Uh, violet and blue just looks really pretty together. So I have some uh, Master's Touch Phthalo Cyanine, Cyanine Blue, uh, also a part of this. And uh, we're gonna put some white on the palette as well and I have this liquidy because uh, I like this to mix uh, it's a liquid acrylic and it's more um, you know like it's just easier to mix instead of the thick white titanium white so we're gonna put that out there too all right so I'm going to pull some of my violet and add some white. And if you hear that noise right there, that's uh, my little Sally making herself comfy here. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> I don't think she can fluff up the carpet that's in this room, but I guess she's trying. <laughs> she's funny. So hopefully everybody is doing well this week. and. So I'm making this blue. Oh, this is pretty. Um, and I am actually going to mix a little purple into it uh, because I want these colors to blend really uh, a little bit. And that purple into that blue just really looks really nice. It just takes a few minutes to blend. Now, whether we get done with this painting today or not, I don't know. Uh, I'm limiting it to two hours. Um, I mean, we can have a chat however you'd like, you know, if you'd like to chat or whatever. 
um, I'm just going to limit it. And I did not advertise this, so there might be some people that we just don't see coming. Uh, people aren't showing up, but um, that's okay, too. So we're just going to do what we have to do here. And I'm going to be covering things up a little bit, but I plan on just doing the little strings that hold these up. And I'm using my number six bristle um, synthetic uh, Windsor Newton University Bright to begin this with, getting the sides. This was a request uh, while I was off um, for those few months of quarantine uh, by one of my co-workers, and uh, this is for her, and I am going to maybe give her this. If it turns out real nice, I'm going to give her this painting. She requested it. Now, if you'd like any of my paintings, I mean, you are welcome to purchase them. Uh, you just have to let me know, and I will be happy to give you the information. Sometimes I do uh, frame these. Some are on Etsy. Uh, I haven't posted anything to Etsy for a while, but... Um, like I say, if you're interested, just let me know. Just let me know. And I'll be happy, very happy to get back to you. So I'm just kind of like putting the blues and the purples together, mixing them just kind of back and forth here. And then I'll get a real pale shade and go on top of it. Um, this is a relatively easy painting, I would say. It's not uh, too hard. Like last week, I think last week's was a little bit more complicated um, because we had a lot, a lot of blending. And this is going to have some of that too. But uh, it's just a little different. A little different type of blending. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush, kind of just making these a little bit easier to blend. So if you look on the color wheel, just for... Um, interest. Blue-violet and violet are uh, next to each other, which are um, are considered, if you look on the back of your color wheel, analog analogous because they are right next to each other on the color wheel. wheel. So, like, sometimes you can, like, if you're going to do a painting and you want to do it all in analog analogous uh, colors, you could just use blue, blue, violet, violet, and red, violet. Uh, or you could use green, green, blue, green, yellow, green. All these colors will, you know, um, work well together uh, if you decide that you just want to do something like that with your picture painting. Um, trying to, you know, incorporate the color wheel in its uses. You just want to be able to understand how colors work together, and as an artist, uh, it's really important. I mean, you just don't want to pick something out of this, you know, like uh, you want to put yeah, like yellow, orange with purple. That looks nice, actually. You know, it looks nice, but um, sometimes you can put colors that don't go well together, and it just doesn't do anything for the painting. So you want to kind of work and make sure that you're working towards well it looks like no one's showing up here today for my painting 
but that's all right. Um, I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing it live. Uh, it will be uh, downloaded or uploaded to um, to um, YouTube, and then I'm also taping it this time because I want to um, make sure that it's not just this little narrow picture that you're seeing as a live. Uh, I did purchase a webcaster, which does not work. And the person that I bought it from on eBay has not gotten back to me. Uh, so I might have an issue with that because I spent quite a bit on it. And I was hoping to be able to use a webcaster with my camera instead of having this little narrow picture that I'm using with my phone. But as usual, my luck <laughs> just doesn't go too well. So, um, everything has been a little crazy at my house lately. Uh, we have been without air on these terribly hot days. The air conditioner broke, and I don't want to get a new one. So, we had, uh, our, the plumber that we use, he sent a guy out and... He's been struggling with it because it's been leaking. Uh, there's a leak somewhere and he can't find it. So hopefully it's been resolved. I'm not sure. I just didn't want to spend a ton of money. Well, the background looks so nice with this, but I am going to lighten it up. This is going to kind of be the um, first coat on the background. And I'm doing my sides. It just looks much better. And if you decide that you don't want to frame it, you always have the sides completed. And uh, it just looks more professional to me. Do everything you can to make your painting look sellable. Little things that help. Yeah, so oh, we don't have anybody showing up today. Well, that's all right. Like I said, I have to paint at least once a week. Um, my hand is feeling somewhat better. Uh, the shot finally kicked in. Um, I guess it was, let's see, when I went back to work, which was Monday, uh, it hurt a little bit, but, uh, it kind of worked its way out, which was great. I felt, uh, that that was really important that it did that <laughs> since I do cut hair. Now, if you look at my, I'm going to probably get to know me, um, my intro, I'm going to change that a little bit. Um, it's a little too lengthy, and <clears throat> since I talk a lot through my paintings about my past and what I did in the past here, uh, I think you guys know who I am and where I worked, and not where I worked, but what I did.
I, um, <clears throat> when I worked full time, I was constantly sick. And I don't know why it was like that, but I found out that I do have uh, Hashimoto thyroid, which kind of messes me up sometimes. There's days when I'm just exhausted. <clears throat> Actually, this is one of them. I don't know. I'm just really tired. I woke up tired. And, uh, you know, you get sick a lot. Things affect you differently, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> it's been quite a trying time for me with this. But I was always sick. I was always losing my voice at work. And I think it was just stress. And uh, I don't know why I would have been stressed, but I was. I worked in uh, the oil and gas industry. And I got kind of bored with it. It just was boring to me. There was nothing that changed. It was always the same type of work. I mean, it was like boring. So I retired early, and then I just started working part-time. And uh, I like what I do now because that's where I started. I, When I first started working, I went to uh, cosmetology school. I have a teaching license in cosmetology. And uh, that's what I'm actually doing now. I'm cutting men's hair, and I love it. It's a good company, Sport Clips, and uh, I just thoroughly enjoy it. Now, I'm going to mix a little, well, more white, some white with purple, just a tad, tad, tad bit of purple, because I want this to be like a, kind of like just very pale. I'm also going to mix some blue with white. Just wipe this off. Now, um, in order to do this, I think I'm going to use a little bit of a different brush uh, because I am going to be doing like a, a dry brush technique on top here. So I want something. Okay, so this is a, uh, oh gosh, I can't even tell. Number 10. I believe this is also a number uh, 10 bright. You can see that. Okay. So I'm going to start out with this purple shade. Okay. And I'm just going to go lightly in through this. Kind of just sideways. I just want to get just a tad bit of color. Nothing heavy. Don't want it heavy. Because I want that underneath showing through. Okay, pick up some of the blue. going in different directions here. You want to go in different directions. Pick up a little bit of the purple now. And I'm not rinsing off my brush. Just kind of 
using it dry because I don't want to rinse it off. I want those colors underneath to show through. And I'm just scrubbing that in, just scrubbing it in. Sorry if I'm in the way here of my other video. I'm trying to stand back, but sometimes you just get in the way of it. All right. So dry brushing is um, one of my favorite things to do. Uh, you don't put too much paint on and you just kind of scrub it in just like I'm doing. Scrub that color around. And it's kind of a nice effect, you know, it's just a uh, especially with this type of painting. if I'm in the way. I know I'm not in the way with the live, but want to keep it on the side if you can side of your brush for this don't want to push it like that way just kind of with the flat part of the brush and if you get some on the masks that's okay until you like what you see. And that's good, I like that. Okay, just gonna have a little drink here. All right, so I'm gonna put a little black out on my um, palette here. <clears throat> Um, I want to color in the eyes <clears throat> and they are going to be black. So I'm going to get my number four or number two flat. Okay. Wet it a little bit and go into my black. Get those put in. I'm 
going very close with my brush. I am like holding it right at the ferrule here. just kind of brings it to life a little bit seeing that there's eyes here <laughs> that are filled in I'm going to get these dark and then I'm going to fill it in with the uh, violet I'm going to go over it with black and violet Okay, so that is the eyes. Rinsing out my brush, and I'm rinsing out the other brush. So, so far we've got some pretty nice looking um, background. Got the eyes in. I am going to scrape up, some, well, I'm gonna move some of my paints around here because right now they're all over the place. Um, I'm going to scrape some of this out of the way. Get some of this scraped up. Push it over. I tend to be very uh, big when I'm doing my stuff. Kind of push it up too far, I think. All right, so I'm going to grab some of that purple, that violet. And some of my black. Make a nice deep violet shade. And then I'm going to go in there with that. With these eyes. And that kind of just gives a little bit. Of background that it's not different from the background I mean you know like what we're doing here we're using trying to use the similar colors throughout that just gives it a little cast of blue which is just interesting here I made that eye a little too big but we'll fix that be making this one a little bit too big too so they match. All right. Now, uh, we're going to work on this. Um, I'm going to make this a little yellow through here. It's going to be yellow in here too, but we're also going to be blending it up into red. So, now uh, I have Naples yellow 
but I think I want to have it more bright. I want to have something a little brighter. So I'm going to use Cad Yellow Light instead. Cad Yellow. And I'm just going to put that out on my palette. And then I have Crimson as well, um, which is Gal Galleria Color. And I am going to be using that as well. Alright, and I'm going to get my number six. And let me clean that better. I've got purpley stuff in there. Okay, and I'm going in with my yellow. Now this might be a little bright, but um I like it. I want it to be bright. I want these colors to be very bright. They pop out. And I still can see my uh, lines, which is good, because I want to see them, because I'm going to be covering those up as well. So right now, we're just going to kind of fill this in on the bottom with the yellow. Let's get this in here. Now, if you don't have CAD Light, uh, you can always go to a CAD Medium. It's fine. here a little bit with that. Same here. Now, I'm going to go into the red and it's going to kind of be an orangish shade now. It's going to get a little lighter. And I think with that Naples yellow, I'm going to mix that in with that too. Just kind of a little bit of that Naples yellow. See what happens here. Yeah, I like that. Kind of bright. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like that shade. Uh, it's kind of dull. I want it to be more bright. So. Let's see here. How about I get some orange? I'll just go with the orange and put the orange in here. And the orange that I'm using, it's actually called orange, and it is a Master's Touch Thick Body. Thick Body. Okay. I think this will be good and then we're just going to kind of do the same thing uh, as we did here with this background kind of dry brush it uh, and really get stuff like that up through here then that's going to go into a red so I'm just kind of 
getting that in there like that. Keep it around the nose, kind of letting that yellow show through. Just using a dry brush. Very dark right in here so we're gonna add the red and it it's just darker so we're just kind of getting this to go blend it up now I'm going into my red and this is going to be pure red here I'm not rinsing off my brush at all coming around here sure everything is cut, uh, painted in. Just kind of dry brushing it down into where the color turns orange. Now I'm going to get a little bit of red, I mean yellow, before I go, because I want to get this like kind of like that. in there. These are going to be bright shades. This is a bright mask. And let me get my little tiny um, detail brush and this is a 1 over 8 just going to go in with my red kind of get this just like that same in here because what's inside there is going to be like a pale uh, red. Okay. Sally's trying to fluff up the rug. <laughs> There's no way the rug is not a fluffable. <laughs> She's funny. Sally, you can't fluff that up. I know one of these days people will join me for my lives. Um, maybe I need to do it at a different time. And if you think so, just give me a comment so that I can do that. All right, so now I'm just going to wipe off my brush a little bit. I'm going to come in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put yellow in there so that gets or orange so that shows up a little bit more and uh, this should be a little bit more also I may have to uh, ooh that was no good that's a no no let me get a 
white, baby wipe here. Just get that off of there, kind of wind that up like that. And I can put orange back in, I mean yellow back in here. So this is not quite dry yet. yellow in on our paintbrush here and we do this get this up in here there we go that's the way to do that very good more yellow on my brush because you want to blend that up And almost flames up there. So, right in here, um, there's like a orange that comes down. So we want to get that in there, a little red -ish color. And it also kind of comes here too. Now I want to get my brush a little bit drier. We're just showing like the nostril. A little bit more yellow here. Right in here. Highlight. It's almost like you're putting on makeup. Now I'm going to come around with my red, and we're going to kind of outline this a little bit with the red. Just let it fade in. Got my little pinky down there. If you can see what I'm doing. Just going very lightly, very lightly. And I'm going to bring that in this way. Just kind of give it a little bit of a depth. get a little bit of my yellow and kind of blend this into that blend it now that's the way that's going to be. Uh, let's see. So I want that little bit of red. Let me get some more of that. Coming up right around the nose here. Because it's going to come around the nose. So I want to get my little brush again. And I'm going to put red on. And... Coming around this nose area. Now we're not outlining the nose, it's just going to be a shadow until we get right here. That is just going to be outlined there, like 
that. We're going to blend this in with some yellow. personality. And we'll probably put more yellow into this. I want to get more yellow into that. But right now we're just going to leave it as is. And with my little brush, I'm just going to kind of just a tad of an outline here. Just a tad. Just a little bit. around okay let me rinse out my brush Good. I'm gonna blend some of this in with some yellow kind of glaze it just glazing it. Glazing is just thinned out paint. it in here. Get it heavier in through here. We want that to be nicely some of it under here. Okay. Now I'm going to just kind of go over this with yellow. I blend it so it's not so harsh. Same over here, just kind of blending it up into the red. And then I'm going to meet the red, meet it with some red. Not a lot though, I don't want a whole lot of red in that. with my little tiny brush, I see a little bit of uh, purpley color there, and I'm going to just add that in there that needs to be added here, so it comes right to the mask. Okay. Now, that area that is like white, I'm going to mix my red and some white, get like a little pinky color. And believe it or not, it's like dry brushed on top here of this. So I'm just going to kind of get some of that in there. I'm just going to kind of dry brush that in. Now um, I'm going to actually do some more of that as well. I'm going to get my number two that we were using before and just kind of get that right in here. Has to be somewhat lighter. And here. All right. Now, we are going to paint in the eyebrows, which are a red purple. So I'm gonna get my violet and on my palette, I'm going to mix red with some violet. Get a nice violet red. We're just going to add a tad of white. And 
going to put in the eyebrows, which are, let's see, I, I can see them. Now I'm going to actually put some of that red purple in the lips. I'm going to make it a little darker, or a little bit more red, I should say. And we're going to do the lips. this dries, we're going to add red to it. I'm going to leave that just that little bit of white there so that when I put the red in, it'll show. And this has like a little one of these. Oh, that might have been too. Well, it's, it looks okay. And then this here. Okay. Let me use my little brush here for that. Let's see. I want to get this out of here. Let's get some red in there now. Uh, I'm gonna use that number that I was using before. And let me straighten up this eyebrow a little bit over here. Put it nice and sharp. And let's see here, red, we need the red, pure red. And I'm going to probably lighten that up a little bit as soon as it dries a little. Kind of get that in there. Okay, now I want to use my little brush again. And I am going to outline here above the eyes. We have a little line here. Goes right above the eye. And it doesn't go over that far. Okay. I'm going to use my little brush again. And we are going to pull that up. Use some yellow. Pull it up before it dries. Some yellow. Look 
dimensional in a little bit more I'm going to get the eye messed up here but I'm going to have to go over that a little too and I used the purpley black for this Let's get some more red and some of that orange in there. Just kind of dry brush it in. Get my yellow straight. And just giving that, I don't want that to come down in here. And this is where your baby wipes kind of help you a little bit because you don't ooh, get it on things you don't want it to be in. So I'm just kind of wiping it up. So I can put that yellow straight on. Okay, get that yellow back. Brush is dirty, that's what happens. Kind of want to blend it up and into this. away this little line here. Alright, so we have the one face done pretty much. Um, wiping off my brush coming in here a little bit. We do want it to have a little bit of depth around the nose but <clears throat> we have to be very careful with that as well let's see and I'm going to put some red a little bit of red around the eyes here just plow line the eye here just going to let that go for now. And we'll come back over it. For now. And I could blend that in. Maybe just a little with that. Just kind of with the water blending it in. Just like as if I had watercolor. I was doing watercolor. little bit more that a little bit around here <coughs> actually um, <coughs> this should come down a little bit more it's kind of a <clears throat> Excuse me, dry brush here. This comes down this way more. I don't want my nose to be all cockeyed here, but it comes down this way. Same here. Just kind of giving it a little bit more pizzazz there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to get more of my yellow again. 
And I just kind of want, oh, I'll see what happened there. Got my hand here. Actually, I like the way that came out, so I might have to kind of work with this a little. Just get some of that red off so I can go around it and get some yellow, more yellow in there. <clears throat> it should be a little lighter here. It's okay if it gets on the lips, but I want it to be a little lighter through here. <clears throat> a little lighter. Just working with the color that's here and then taking that off a little bit, kind of just giving it a little bit more attention. All right, so the lips need to be lighter. <coughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of white to my purpley shade here. The purpley red that I mixed. <clears throat> add a little bit more red to it. Okay. And just kind of go in here a little bit more. through here and I'm probably going to have to come back with some red because this has to be lighter definitely has to be lighter <clears throat> so I let that dry so let's move on to our next face and um, <clears throat> the colors in this face I'm going to make blue so let's see. I'm going to use the I'm going to use this blue here, phthalo blue. I think that'll work very nicely. What time do we have here? Okay, it's eleven o'clock. <clears throat> see if we can get this done by twelve, huh? here that I don't like. We add a little yellow to it. Kind of just like blend it a little bit better here. That little line there. Now see that's starting to get lighter. That's what I want. Just pure red. Same here. I want that depth <clears throat> coming in there. Same here. I'd like to have some of that depth come through here. And you can work at stuff all day. You know, you just like keep looking at things and then you think, oh, well, that could be blended a little bit better. Kind of like what I'm doing. I'm just trying to blend it somewhat better. Right here, we want that to be nice and bright around the dark. Get this a little lighter in through here. Definitely got to be light in here. <clears throat> a 
little white to my yellow. Let's see what happens there. Just to get that lighter look here. Well, don't we mess up a little, huh? Oh, that's all right. It can be fixed. Nice thing about acrylics is you can always fix them. And I just want that to be a little bit lighter. Yeah. There. There we go. That's kind of cool there. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to do our phthalo blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for this face here, we're going to use some uh, turquoise green. I think that will look really pretty together. The blues and the greens, the blue-green color. Um... It always helps to stand out and things, so I want to still work on this. Uh, I might put a little bit of white in there, um, just kind of to get that a little lighter, so when I put my red in, it will be nice, too. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of add a little white here. I wish I had some music to play, but, you know, we can't, I will have music in my other video. Um, you have to be so weary of copyright issues, and uh, I just use the Wondershare uh, Filmora, and that's what I use for my so I do have a little bit of Alzerian Crimson. I might just add some of that to those lips. Just to pop them out some too whenever I get to that point. But it comes out of the tube. And that's pretty well shot. Uh, that's no good, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard as a rock. So that goes in the garbage. I've had these shades for a long, long time. When I first started teaching... I talked with uh, Michaels and Grumbacher, and some of those those are left over from that, so that's been a long time, very long time. Let's just get these in. Let's get these in. little Sally girl. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's start on the other mask. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go with the phthalo blue. And I'm just going to start up here. The other one I didn't start up at the top, I don't think. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm losing my voice. That happens with me a lot. <clears throat> now, hopefully, I'm not in the in here too much here. <coughs> I'm just gonna come down here. <clears throat> shade. 
glue. So when we get down a little bit further, uh, we're going to add a little white to this. <clears throat> and that's going to go into that bottom part. <clears throat> smoother blend here. <clears throat> Going into my white. Right at that tip, it's going to be pretty white. <clears throat> that is pretty intense, that blue. So I want to add enough white. the eye, but we can always go over that. I kind of go over all that with some dry brushing. So if you're watching this um, and it's not live, if you could possibly give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing, make a comment that's very important to the station, the channel. Uh, it helps in the rank or, you know, the analytics. <clears throat> and I've been struggling trying to get there. Um, so if you could possibly possibly do that it would be great all right so we've got that pretty well in I'm going to go into my blue again kind of just get some of that to blend down, but uh, what we're going to end up doing is waiting for this to dry some and because that is a little too wet and it's just turning white, something I don't want that to do. Um, let's see if I can get the nose back in there. Okay. Kind of goes like that. 
blending it. <clears throat> but it's got a lot of work to go on. So we'll wait for that to dry a little bit. And the bottom we're going to do in a nice turquoise. <gasps> Oops, put it in the wrong spot. Mm -mm -mm. Instead of putting it on my palette, I put it on the masonite. Which is fine because I can grab it and pull it up here. <clears throat> So, to this. <clears throat> Around here. Ah, it should be a little lighter. This is the sad face, so it's going to be a little bit different than the other one, the happy face. make that brighter. That is going to get brighter too. Same here. It'll, it'll get brighter. Because we want that to be really dark around there. Now, <clears throat> getting my little brush again, that number two, uh, I want to get that blue shade in there a little bit better. Okay, let's see here. The paints are drying fast, very fast. Here we go. Now I'm going to get a little bit more white and, well, some of that blue and bring it down because I want that to be a little darker. The second coat is always going to be a little bit darker because this is like a transparent color. Um, very transparent. These are really looking good. I love them. Very pretty. Okay. This 
is a very, very interesting color. <clears throat> this phthalo blue. <clears throat> this one will get a little bit more of my purpley shade. Because <clears throat> right in here, kind of. Okay. And then my blending dry brush shade right on top. Somehow I'm going blue. Okay, so this here has to come out a little bit, um, like what I did there is when I covered that up, it has to <coughs> come in a little bit like that and then come around, around like this. right here it it comes in but it's a different type this one's a little bit more square doff but it really um, can be rounded a little so it's not so there we go blue over here kind of dry it, brush it through here. Okay, I'm going to go into my white now. There's enough blue on my brush to kind of just dry brush over this. This has to be a little bit lighter and we're gonna have to work at this a little. I'm gonna go straight in with white here. I'll rinse this out. So when you're blending, like I said, it is a process. I mean, you're just going to have to um, work at it. It's not something that, you know, you just can stop and it's done. It doesn't work like that. This to be very very light but you have to get that blue kind of blended too see how it's blending right up into that it's kind of almost really pre it's pretty I love that so I got more white on my brush Let's keep it going Work slowly. This doesn't have to be fast. Okay. Just want to make sure you cover up the lines there. All right, so I'm going to rinse out my brush again because that's got all that blue glue. And I'm 
do some more white. Really needs to be lighter in through here. Definitely here. Now we want to get some of the white in through here also. Turquoise again, just kind of work it here. here okay and right in that one spot there it's a little bit of that purpley shade so get that purpley shade right in here for that use your fingers I use them all the time. This will probably dry to a different shade. Um, that's looking really cool. Okay, so I'm going to get my little teeny weeny brush. And I'm going to pick up my phthalo blue on that my one over eight and I'm going to outline this with that shade okay Sorry if I'm in the camera. I am going to outline this, but I have to be very careful with that turquoise shade. See, I gotta get that blended better too. Okay, I need a little swig here. fix that again. Um, let me come up with my turquoise shade here. We're losing the actual nostril. It should be here. Alright. Going into my phthalo again. My Oh, my turquoise. Turquoisey. Little bit, my 
eraser. <laughs> That's funny there. Okay, let's get the white. blend up. That needs to get blended. But I'm going to put it in here for now. And uh, let's see. It just kind of goes up and through here a little bit. Alright, now his lips are totally purple. So I am going to put the purple in. That's the violet. Or I lose these totally. Oh, it's actually blue. <laughs> okay. That's all right. We can make it blue. Probably will look better anyways. For now, and it kind of has these little, little things here. And we'll have to go over that again. Okay, so let's see if we can get this now. Don't have to be perfect on that. Okay. Uh, above the eyes. I'm going to get my little teeny lining brush. But you know what? I want to get those eyes a little darker because they just really let's see need to be a little dark here. eyes here. I'm going to go into that blue. Just kind of give it a little lid. Fix that. Okay. Going with my white. Once that dries, I have to come back up because I made that a little too, too big. Okay, more white on this nose here. I want that to be white, the tip right here. A little white there.
here. Okay. If I can get this to go the right way. Let's see here. Brush is getting a little worn out. That's the thing with uh, acrylic. It's it, it's difficult because it does get messed up pretty easily. with this a little bit more over here. Ooh, looks like I got some black where I shouldn't have. So let's get one of these. Okay. All right, let's see here now. We've got to make this a little smaller. I don't know how that's going to work. Let's see. Okay. Maybe I might get up a little. Phthalo blue is very intense. So when you're working with it, you want to be careful. Cut this in a little bit. Cut it up here. It's still wet, so it's uh, same here. Cut that in a little. We're going to go over it a couple of times because right now it's still wet. And it's not exactly going the way that I would like it to go. Not at all. Here we go. Maybe that'll work better. I'll wait till that dries some. Okay, let's work on this again. Hair done in here. I'm not really liking that color. <laughs> Surprise. Let's see if this turquoise will work better. I'm not sure. How much of that? Oh, that's a light one, too. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to kind of do a dry brush thing on it. Kind of just work it. Put those little lines back in there again. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Okay, let's see. Probably blue. Oh, that would be nice underneath here. We kind of get that a little bit nicer. Okay, blend it. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to try to outline this. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I'm going to see if I have a decent brush to do that with. Hmm. Oh dear, no. Oh, I have an angle brush that'll work, I think. Okay, so this is an angle shader, it's a half inch. And um, I'm just going to go into my, my 
turquoise color. Let's see if I can just outline here. to that other shade, that lighter turquoise, which is a um, actually bright aqua green. Okay, kind of coming around here a little bit. Just kind of working it around here. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of helped this out a little bit still dark but it's more intense like now let's get this back in here much better much better mucho better now we got to get eyebrows on this and we have to put some teardrops because this is the sad face. So we want to get that in there. Get that sadness going. We'll get a little bit more and then make these lips a little bit more purple. I think I want them more purple for sure. So I'm going to get my little number two. Go into purple. Kind of just there we go. That's much nicer. Huh. This is a sad, sad face. Sad. Now, sometimes after I'm done doing my live, I will look at this and work at it a little bit. Um, if I don't like something, <laughs> uh, so that will happen. I'm going to try to get this, I don't know if I can get this out of here. It's Alizarian Crimson because I really could use that. It is so dried out. Yeah, it's just no good. Let me see if I can find, um, I guess not, I'm able to find anything. Uh, I'm going to just deepen my red a little bit, um, get those eyebrows in um, with maybe some of that purpley color. I'm going to use my little lining brush here. Add some white, because that white kind of did help that come out a bit more. It looks more like a nice uh, red so let's see here I go look at my okay so comes here kind of right alongside here and then it goes over Just like that. Okay, let's do the other one. And this is kind of an S shape kind of thing. So it is uh, one in the same spot. So we're going to put it right here. Okay, now I'm going to 
gonna do this blue a little bit here so it's not gray. Kind of get it up in there. Same over here. Nice blue line in there, which you might not be able to do here. Let's see. There. All right, so we've got our purple back in our lips, but I, oh no, we did not. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm gonna get that purple back into the lips. See if I can get that in there again. It'll take a couple tries here. But I think what I'm gonna do is just go like this for now. Kind of lighten this up so that I can put that purple in there. And just kind of pull it in. That's fine, just the way that is. All right, so <clears throat> I want that red purple to um, come back over here. I want to get that starting to dry. My colors are starting to dry. Okay, so we've got this that comes up and down. And there we go. A little bit of dark purpley red, but I want that little crisper, okay, and then we're going to get some red and put that in there, use my angle brush here for that, and red. Right into the red here for that and pull it down in here. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of that one because I got to make that a little different. I don't care for that one. Just pulling that in because these lips have to be a little bit bigger and I may have not made them large enough. I'm going to make them larger. Larger lips. We're still, still playing with this, that's for sure. I could play probably all day long, knowing that I can't. Where's the big thing now, I think? I just want that lighter here. And then probably put just more of the yellow in. Getting that in there like that. Getting a little bit of the orange in there. Put 
dulling it down. I don't want it dulled down. Okay. Yeah, the lips are starting to come uh, along the way I want them. So I'm going to actually put a little white in there. Okay. Just kind of like that. And then add my red here. So they are nice and bright. Now, the guy with the purple lips, we got to get his lips, too. So, this one here, same thing. Okay. This is going to be a little darker here. Okay, um, I've got to lighten that one spot up up there. It's getting pretty close to being done. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's come along, that's for sure. A little bit of that blue shade. Gonna make it up in through here. It's really dark. Up in here. Comes over. Out. Okay, get that dark again. bit lighter. Still got to be light. And put that oh, it's too dark. It's almost white in there. I'm just going to go straight into the darker blue. Good. It's dark. And I am right on this, so I'm probably in the way. And I apologize, but that's the only way I can do this, actually.
this has to come up. Oh, wrong color. Wrong color. Today I am messed up. Everything is. My hands are dirty. that are clean. Get a little drink here. Nothing like getting it on yourself. So I'm going into this blue. And I'm going to try to get my angle brush very, very, very I can outline this, get this here, kind of just come down with it, bring it in. Now I got to get that line in there. So once again, I am getting my brush to a fine point so that I can get that right there. Right there. And I'm sorry if I'm in the way, but I'm just trying to get that in there. Where it just kind of blends down into the mask. Now, get a little bit lighter color. And just kind of work with it a little bit on the edge here. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I got to do the other side here with that blue, almost light blue. And I am just filling it in here. And I am going to make it a little darker. I'm going to go into the blue. Just the tip of my brush, actually. Just the tip. Kind of bring it down here just to give it a little bit of texture. Kind of. that with this also because what's going to happen here is it's got to have a little circle so that we can put the strings in and everything okay now I want to get those little teardrops in on this one so I'm going to just use the blue for that I don't want to use the uh, oops black I want to just use blue for it. Let's see here. Oh, let me get this a little bit more. like to be a little bit more in here. I think maybe my eye is just way too big. And I tend to do that sometimes, make one eye bigger than the other. Um, okay. Same over here. I'm going to Kind of cut that 
stuff out a little bit. Chop it off some. Get into my black again. Black, black, black. Just kind of finishing touches, little touch ups with my little teeny weeny brush. Okay, I'm going to wet that. And uh, let's see here. Actually, you know what? I would like to use my angle brush and kind of this here, right here. I'm going to bring that out a little bit, just a tad, like that. Kind of dry it a little bit. Just kind of sweep it out a little. Just like over here, it was swept out a little bit. to get my white kind of blend it just blend it in before I put the tears on just kind of giving it a little bit more of a um, roundness here bringing that in You know, like when you do a a ball and you're shading it, kind of just do that. Same with this, we can bring it out somewhat. Same here, just kind of giving it a little bit more. I'm going to do that over here too, because it just looks too flat to me. It's just a little too flat looking. And I think that that kind of helped it a little bit. Let's see what time do we have here? Twelve. Okay, I have I have an appointment at one, so we want to kind of try to finish this up the best that we can, and um, we can always come back next week to finish the rest. I'm not gonna. Maybe just finish it up next week. Or I could just finish it on my um, camera and upload it. All right, let me get some of that purple now with uh, white. See if we can get these lips better. Whoops, wow, got a lot there. Okay, just pull this out and up. Okay, and I'm going to get straight purple. here okay now I still am not 
not real thrilled with this. Just want to get some of my turquoise right here. Kind of go here with it. Blend it out a little. some of that light turquoise in here. Kind of blending this in a little bit more with some white. That might just be a little too much. Sometimes you work on something and you kind of should just leave it alone. That's okay because I can put my darker around here and I think it'll work better. to fix that now too with little tough stuff. Well, it's coming. It is coming along. Now, once again, I'll have these, um, this little uh, tracing on Patreon. You can get it for one, $1. And if you'd like to support my station, you can. Um, I will have goodies and things like that if you support me. Uh, we have to support each other. So if you can see your way fit of a donation, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate any help that I can get. Those goodies keep me going. Alright, let 
me just get a little darker coming up here. This really isn't supposed to be a light on top. So I'm going to get that a little darker. All right. Now, let's get some teardrops on this baby. So I'm going to use my purple. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should use that blue. It's probably better. All right, we'll use the blue. I'm going to make a little teardrop here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to have to make that somewhat darker because that's just too light. Let me just get that with some black. So let's see here. Okay, that's one. There's one here. Okay. One that goes here. That's a bad one there. Whew. That's bad. Bad, bad. I need a little wet, I think. Just, uh, ooh. Yeah, we're probably going to have to fix that. I don't like that one. Let's see. I'm going to have to wipe it off. No likey that one. That came off pretty easy. Thank goodness for wipes. Somebody stopped by, Grayscale. Hi. Somebody stopped by, finally. We're almost done with this. Thank you for stopping. Get that other one in, that other teardrop. Let's see here. We'll make it like this the other way. Just, you know, we'll go like that. I think my brush may be too big. Let's see. 
I'll get one of these uh, round brushes. I'm using a round uh, number one. Oh, my battery is starting to blow here. Better plug it in here. I'm almost finished. Okay. All right. So let's see here now. That might just help it. Yeah, that's what it needed. A little different brush. All right. And uh, let's see one more. One more brush. I mean, one more teardrop. So we got the teardrops, and I'm going to put the little holes in the mask here. Oh, great. Oh, it froze? Yeah, I think I, um... Well, what I'm going to do, Grace, go. I have it taping on my other camera because I don't like the way this uh, shows up. And I decided to tape it with my other camera. Let me use the back of my brush here to do this. There we go. Put those little holes in there. And um, it turns out I'm going to have to send back my webcaster because it won't work. I can't get it to work. The guy sent it to me without the ACDC cord, and I got a new cord, and it just doesn't work. I can't get it to work, so it won't turn on. So I'm a little dis disturbed by it, and I haven't heard from him, so hopefully I get my money back on it. I was out of the country it would be a different story I have I have those um, connections for the outside of the country but that's not doing me any good so let's see here now I'm gonna use I have this little tiny angle brush let's see if I can use that and do this um, the actual ribbons here. Kind of wet it pretty good. Alright. Let's see here. So we're going to come out. Come down like want it to be and it's going to go from here okay like that and I have a purple one I want to put in it's going to add a little white to that a little purple and I'm going to get it wet so that it's easy to go. Okay. And then we have this one coming down here. Like that. We have one that comes over from here and it kind of goes like that. Kind of goes over his face like that. We have one that comes off 
of his mask. I don't know if you're going to see this or not. I guess you can, yeah. Okay. And I want to just get a pink one. So we're going to use some pink, a red and some white. Uh, is it still frozen? Is it still frozen? No. No, it's okay. Okay. Just want to make sure. <laughs> okay, we're going to have one that comes... Oh, I have to make another purple one. Okay, we're going to have another one come out. out here okay we gotta get a little bit more water on our brush <clears throat> excuse me <gasps> Oop, it's dripping 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 a little too much water. Okay. <clears throat> See what we can do with that. I don't want to drip there. All right. Now, <clears throat> one more. I have to do another purple. Going to get the purple, a little white, a little purple, and I have to have one that comes out not quite there, but about right here. right about here and that is the end of that painting let's get that to fix a little bit better okay now I just want to get this uh, touched up here it really doesn't come out there. It's coming out from over here. But it just looks like that. Okay, let me get that purple again. It's kind of... I don't want that coming out of there, though. All right. All right, so there we have it. Our drama characters for... Um, and if you'd like, you can splatter. Uh, I'm not going to splatter today. Uh, I might do that to finish it up. But for now, uh, I'm just going to do it like that. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and I appreciate you for stopping by, Grayscale. I appreciate that. Um, and that's it. That's it for today. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week. Don't forget to stop by. Uh, we'll be working on an egret. Or is it an egret? Or, oh, a heron. I'm sorry. A heron. So we are going to do a heron. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, you can pick up the tracing on patreon and i will have that link at the bottom they're a dollar if you're interested it's nice to help support uh and to make a comment and like and also give me a thumbs up i really would like that it really helps out my station um i'm gonna clean this up a little bit also but i'll do that off camera so until next time bye